Hi guys, I am an internal monologue Masato. Today I'm gonna be heading to the nearest local shops, Linum, and I'll show you briefly inside the shop a bit to see how it looks. Okay, what am I gonna purchase there? Normally I do buy a bunch of stuff as I go through the shops, especially a bit shopping mall. But today's local shop is quite tiny, so I've already decided what to grab. Yep, rooibos tea. As many of you guys know, this tea is very healthy. It's an African tea, naturally caffeine-free, organically grown, and especially this one is I found it the best of the best one, cause this one hasn't mixed with any different flavor, so it's quite a pure, pure black tea. Here we go. Inside there are totally 40 tea bags, which look like this. It's just very simple. Nothing special, right? But it's got heaps of healthy benefits. Here are a bunch of descriptions about this rooibos tea. The taste is undeniably assured in that it's got a distinctive aroma and a slight sweet flavor. And this tea is beneficial for pretty much every type of person, including purely health conscious, sports people, babies, children, fathers and mothers, teenagers, and so on. As for me, I was actually suffering from a kind of asthma a few years ago, and at that time I was seriously looking for a solution to this. I put much effort into searching via the internet, shops, YouTube videos, or even academic journals. And finally, I found the rooibos tea very efficacious in curing this type of symptom. Of course not completely, but it works very well indeed. If you are agonizing of asthma or something like this sort of healthy problem, I highly recommend trying to have this tea. Okay, right. What else am I gonna buy today? Oh, coconut oils. Here is my favorite one. This is of course organic one, and I used to use this oil for my body, especially my itchy hair, dried face, hands and legs, so pretty much the whole body. So this can be so versatile for both cooking and cosmetic use. Now I'm mainly using this oil for cooking instead of using olive oils. This product is also highly recommended. Right, so I had continued to search for the best stuff for alleviating the itchiness of my hair before I discovered a special 100% pure oil, usually for relieving constipation, which is castor oil. This stuff is just amazing, miraculous one. Since I started using this one, I've kept the whole skin nicely moisturized. And in particular, I often don't feel itchy my hair compared to the time when I was only using coconut oils. So much better now. This stuff is just 8 bucks, so it's a pretty affordable price. I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this. Just extracting a bit on your palm, and then rubbing the surface dry like this. Although it might take a minute or so. A bit sticky, but feeling better than being dried. Other than that, I'm gonna buy just normal grocery stuff. Okay, so as I mentioned, ro rooibos tea, coconut oils, and castor oils are indispensable to my healthy life in Australia. I'm not too young anymore, so I've got to be a bit health conscious, especially since I've been outside Japan for 11 and a half years, and I haven't done the whole body's checkup over the last few years. This year is the right time for me to go into hospital for a complete medical checkup. Hopefully, there will be no issue at all. Anyway, as far as I'm concerned, medical fees in Australia are kind of expensive, but the quality and reliability are not too bad, even compared to that in Japan. But of course, it depends upon the place, medical professionals, as well as types of medical services. If you just moved to Australia now or being here for a few years, then just be careful about choosing a GP, general practitioner, because personally, I've already experienced some terrible GPs, so it's better to ask local people exactly where to see the doctor. I've fairly known about the situation in Canberra, so if you are planning to move to Canberra, then there will be at least a few things I can help you with. Please let me know if you have any query regarding this sort of stuff. Alright, 
then I'm still on the way to the、uh, line of local shops. I reckon an early morning walking or jogging around here is quite refreshing, cause almost no traffic jam, not many people living in Canberra in the first place. So going for a short stroll at the weekends is my recommendation. Now it's just about 8:30 in the morning on Saturday. The local shops I'm heading to right now opens exactly from 8:30 a.m. on Saturday, and、uh, I'm not quite sure what time on Sunday. In Australia, the majority of local shops open late on Sunday, depending on suburbs, of course. Just 700 meters away from here, so nearly getting there. I don't feel far away from my apartment, cause I can greatly appreciate this surrounding nature, which really distresses every time when I go for a walk. As you can see, there's a kindy over there. Unfortunately, today is Saturday, so no kids are here. Kids here are really powerful and energetic, so I can also re-energize myself every time when I see them. I haven't got my junior, so maybe in a few years I'm stoked about raising my son or daughter, and he or she is gonna be like that kid, which is really interesting to see. By the way, I used to live around this suburb a decade ago. I don't see any significant change here, which is good for saving the environment, but not so good for Canberra's gentrification. Wow, so many cockatoos are flying over there. Have you ever heard of their crying? They look charming, but cry so noisily, and a bit aggressive this time, like magpie. I think their breeding season differs from magpie. Magpie like between the mid October and the end of November, I suppose. In contrast, cockatoos like now, I guess. Right here I am. Just got here at the line of local shops. As you can see, Capital Chemist. Here I'm gonna grab two things: coconut oils and castor oils. And there are a few other shops like news agencies, bakeries, and some Asian restaurants. That bakery is selling very nice bread and sweets. And this side you can see. Oops, looks a bit old. But I love this shop because、um, it's easy to go around inside and find some stuff I need in a short period of time. So when I'm busy, I normally come here. Anyway, let's go inside. First up, here is a grog stuff section. There are heaps of different types of amber liquids. I mean beers and the white and red wines and a bunch of others. Yep, here's. Um, he has got pretty much everything, like Asahi Sapporo, like Japanese beer, and I like Pure Brand, Corona, something like that. Anyway, I'm not planning to buy Grox today. Whoop, Eda in Japanese. I've never seen this brand before, even in Japan. It's an interesting one. I wanna try this one next time to check the taste. Maybe next time, but I'm gonna show you around as to what sorts of alcohols are they selling here. Personally, I'm interested in exploring here. Okay, right. There are so many different types of white wines. I'm not really familiar with wines, but I I went to some wineries before, and I so enjoyed tasting some samples. And of course, bought some local wines there. Covid-19 is nearly over, so hopefully I can visit some local wineries around Canberra. Because in fact I haven't visited any winery here, so I'm genuinely interested in knowing and learning what sorts of local wines they are producing. Gosh, there are heaps. I have no idea which ones gonna be good ones. Although I'm not gonna buy today, I wanna know which one for next time. Let me think. Ah,、uh, never mind. I just wanna browse this time. Anyway, even such、um, tiny local shop, there are great number of alcohols to choose from, as all these are loving beers, as you know. I do remember when I lived here with some flatmates. He was drinking every night. Very nice guy. It was nice and memorable. Okay, this one. You see, little giant. This attracts me a lot. Ah, 'cause it's wombat, right? Someone calls me wombat, 'cause I look like wombat. Really? Do you really think so? Probably my hairstyle, or I got a bit small eyes, so I look like wombat. Next, here is the cheese section. I wasn't a fan of cheese before, but since I moved to Australia, I've become infatuated with different types of cheese. Oh, Guinness. Actually, I've never seen this before. I know Guinness beer, which is quite a famous one, and I love it. Okay, there are heaps of cheese stuff here. Tasty brand. 
Oh, I often buy this one. Um, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, and other types of shredded ones. I always prefer eating melting ones, used mainly for pizza or lasagna. Here is the peas section, which is also interesting to browse. Since I moved to Canberra, I started eating a wide range of peas, such as split peas, lentils, chickpeas, and soup mix. I've tried everything here. They are very useful for not just cooking different dishes, but also keeping healthy as well. Last, I want to show you here is a clearance stuff section. All stuff on this shelf is a bit old, like a nearly expiry date, or not so popular ones, or just things this shop wanna sell. Stainless steel drinking straws. Intriguing. Has this already been discounted? 13 bucks. Still expensive, I think. Right, I'm tired of describing everything, so I'll leave it here. Whoops, pardon me, you can probably see my shopping basket. Anyway, that's all here. I've done today's shopping. I'm now heading back home. Did you enjoy a sort of virtual shopping? I'm really happy to hear if you like this kind of tiny local shop's atmosphere. Thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Today's words. Efficacious. Versatile. Buck. Kindy. Grok, Amber, Infatuated, 